I don't remember the microphone being that far away in rehearsal. Oh. What can I tell you that you haven't already noticed, folks? I'm out of shape, I'm overweight, and I'm lazy. Hey? Not alone, though, am I, sir? <laughs> I didn't mean to pick you out. It's just you looked friendly and agreeable. <laughs> Fat people always are. <laughs> I'm one of you, sir. We're the majority. Neither of us wants to be overweight, out of shape, lazy. No. But we are the majority, and you know why? 50 years. I just turned 50 last week. Hey, folks, 50 years old. Yeah, don't applaud that. <laughs> <laughs> Don't applaud that. I'm not happy about it. I, I've, I've been eating processed food for 50 years. I have a body by cheese whiz, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Here's the thing. I'm not happy. I don't want to be 50, out of shape, overweight, and lazy. I don't want that. If I could wave a wand. Oh, that was a lot of exercise right there. <laughs> if I could make a wish, I wouldn't be 50, out of shape, overweight, and lazy. I'll tell you what I'd be. I'd be 80, out of shape, overweight and lazy, because nobody judges you when you're 80. I could buy a motorized scooter. <laughs> Big red flag on the back, left turn signal on at all times. <laughs> Big basket in the front for my donuts. <laughs> Nobody's gonna judge that guy. They'd be like, oh, geez, look at the old guy. Good for him, he's still able to go out and get his own donuts. Good for him. <laughs> ah, you can't do that with your 50. You don't get judged the same way. I start running around on scooters like, what the hell? What's that out of shape, overweight, lazy bastard doing? <laughs> get off welfare, hey? And the reason they judge is because they don't know me. They don't know I've tried. I have tried to lose weight. I've tried everything except diet and exercise. <laughs> I've come to the conclusion, folks, and I hate to get upset. I've come to the conclusion the only way I could possibly lose any significant amount of weight and keep it off would be to cut off my legs. <laughs> and I wouldn't need them if I had a motorized scooter. <laughs> and people wouldn't judge me. They'd be like, oh, look at the legless guy. He's still able to go out and get his own donuts. Good for him. <laughs> I'll tell you what else. I'm not only out of shape physically. I am out of shape mentally. I lack focus. I can't do things that I used to be able to do, like phone sex. I used to... <laughs> I used to love phone sex with my wife. You know, I'd be in a place like Winnipeg, I'd phone her up from the hotel. I loved it, but you... And I'll tell you why I loved it, because when you're having phone sex, you don't have to turn off the hockey game, and that's a good thing. <laughs> right, but you've got to be able to focus. You need to concentrate. You don't want to make a mistake at a critical point in the game with a call. You know, oh, baby, if, if you were in, uh, if you were in uh, Winnipeg right now, yeah, Winnipeg, if you were in, uh, I would uh, turn down the lights in the bedroom there in the hotel, I'd, uh, I'd throw you down on that uh, big king-size bed I've got there, and then I'd, uh, I'd, I'd get you wedged out of them stretchy pants. Hey, uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. And then I'd shoot! And you know, as much as I love my family, my family annoys me now. I have no patience. You know, my patience is gone. The other day, 7.30 in the morning, my daughter wakes me up, eh? And that's actually not even true. She just stood by the bed breathing, eh? Because <laughs> kids are, what's the word? Creepy. <laughs> she just stood by the bed. I woke up, you know, I'm an old man. Don't wake me up this way. I woke up, oh, jeez, what are you doing? <laughs> These are the first words I heard, eh? I've missed my school bus. I'm like, what? I've missed my school bus. And like most dads, eh? Dads, I'm just laying in the darkness now, you know, trying to figure out exactly how that affects me. <laughs> really? What the hell are you telling me for? Well, you gotta drive me to school. Like, oh, geez, yeah, totally makes sense when you explain it. I'm, I'm dropping her over to the school. I haven't brushed my teeth, washed my face, combed my hair. I got a cigarette dangling out of my mouth. I can't light, because I have a 13-year-old daughter in the car, little Maddie, hey? And when I get to the, the high school, does she get out? No. No, she decides she should lecture me. You're out of shape. You're overweight. You smoke. All those things could kill you. And we wouldn't have you when we needed you in an emergency. 
Yeah, nothing else has worked, folks, but I'll tell you what, that hit me like a ton of bricks. If you have that one moment in your life that changes the rest of your life, you're lucky, and that was my moment. Because right then and there, I thought, you know what? Starting immediately, eh? I am not driving this bitch anywhere. <laughs> You guys have been great. Thank you very much for letting me drop by.